So ipiridumab is a CD20, CD3 bispecific antibody, and these drugs, um, and there are, there are four which are advanced in clinical development now, are uh, proving to be effective ways of treating patients with um, third line or later large B-cell lymphoma. So the symposium which I chaired was really focusing on uh, treatment of patients with uh, relapsed and refractory large B-cell lymphoma, looking at the different options um, being used at the moment, including CAR T-cell therapy um, and Really, the session was focused on bispecifics and what their likely role is to be, given that there's been approvals of both glofitimab and epcritimab in various markets in the last uh, six months. I think that uh, these agents are going to be widely used in, in the treatment of patients with relapsed and refractory large B-cell lymphoma. They're given as either intravenous or subcutaneous um, injections uh, at varying schedules, um, and epcritimab in particular is given initially weekly and then uh, fortnightly and then monthly, and then treatment is given until progression or unacceptable toxicity. So at this meeting, we are going to see updated data regarding the duration of complete responses, because although we know that these drugs are T cell stimulating antibodies, so they form an immune synapse between CD20 on lymphoma cells and CD3 on host T cells, causing T cell induced tumor kill, we know that these drugs result in response rates of somewhere around 70% and complete response rates of around 40%, including in patients who've had prior exposure to CAR T cell therapy, which is really important because the treatment of those patients is becoming an, inc an increasing unmet need. The other thing which is useful about bispecific antibodies is that they are an off-the-shelf therapy, which means that there's no, they can be used immediately, there's no manufacturing time, and they are probably more broadly applicable to patients with relapsed and refractory large B-cell lymphoma who maybe cannot wait for a manufacturing period for autologous CAR T-cells to be made. So um, I think that EPCOR is going to be widely used for the treatment of patients with relapsed and refractory large B-cell lymphoma. And the fact that we are starting to, we, we're seeing durable responses with up to 76% of patients remaining um, in complete response up to 15 months after uh, achieving it, um, that is suggesting to me that we are, are potentially curing patients with, uh, with refractory disease. So I think that's really exciting. The safety of these drugs is actually quite favourable. The main side effect is cytokine release syndrome. The difference between CRS, which you see with bispecific antibodies and CAR-T, is it tends to be very predictable in terms of the timing of it. Uh, it tends not to be as severe. It's mostly grade one, um, and patients really need, rarely need to go to ICU. Um, they rarely need tocilizumab. Maybe about one in six patients require um, anti-cytokine therapy. So uh, I think that the um, side effects are manageable and they are going to be a useful treatment option for patients with third line or later large B-cell lymphoma. So epcritimab has been approved for the US for this indication by the FDA and uh, we're likely to see other drug approvals in this uh, class soon.